this kind of conduct is not just disappointing, it's dangerous. A strong message from Ottawa that it's done playing around with people who refuse to self-isolate with its new Quarantine Act, mandating 14 days of self-isolation for returning travelers. But even with stricter measures to curb the spread of COVID-19, some refuse to get with the program. Frankly, these are selfish, irresponsible, and ignorant people who are putting their own needs and no interest uh, in front of those of their neighbors and the community. Remember the Corner Brook woman we told you about who was arrested Tuesday and charged with failing to stay in self-isolation? Well, she was released Wednesday, but is already back in jail after being picked up walking around on the edge of town Thursday. A Hull man also didn't seem to get the message, picking up more than $1,200 in fines after police were called to a home for a noise complaint early Wednesday morning. Two of the people at the home didn't live there, a violation of the Public Health Act during the COVID-19 outbreak. If there's one law that our police are going to be enforcing in the coming days, weeks, perhaps months, is going to be these laws. They're easy to enforce. They're easy to prove that someone's in violation of. The vast majority are complying. I myself haven't been out of the country in several months, but I'm still here in my home in isolation. Right across the country, we've seen Canadians uh, following the guidelines, taking very seriously the recommendations of uh, public health agencies. But for those who don't? As this crisis um, progresses, uh, and the rules become more restrictive. Violators of these rules, there's going to be no sympathy or empathy from anybody for them. Anyone unconvinced about the seriousness of COVID-19 and the absolute need for physical distancing should look to countries like Italy and the severe impacts of a health system overwhelmed. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.